Hello everyone. Welcome to our online class grade 7 max chapter 2 fraction and decimals part 1. You have learned fraction and decimal in earlier classes. The study of fraction included proper fraction, improper and mixed fraction as well as their addition and subtraction. We also studied comparison of fractions equivalent fraction, representation of fraction on the number line and ordering of fractions. Our study of decimal included their comparison, their representation of number line and their addition and subtraction. We shall now learn multiplication, division of fraction as well as of decimals. Fraction and decimal. Proper fraction. A fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator that is called a proper fraction. For example, 1 by 4 and 5 by 6. See the fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. So that is called a proper fraction. Improper fraction. A fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal that denominator that is called improper fraction. A fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. Example 5 by 3 and 9 by 8. See the fraction here the numerator is greater than the denominator so that is called improper. Example 1. Write 5 equivalent fraction of 3 by 5. How you find equivalent fraction? Just multiply the given fraction by 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on you get equivalent fraction. So the given fraction is 3 by 5. You want to find out 5 equivalent fraction. So the given fraction is 3 by 5. First of all multiply by 2. 3 into 2 6, 5 into 2 10. So 6 by 10 is a equivalent fraction of 3 by 5. Find the another one. 3 by 5 multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. 3 into 3, 9. 5 3s are 15. Likewise, find out another fraction. 3 into 5, 15. 5 into 5, 25. 3 into 10, 30. 5 into 10, 50. Next, last one. 3 into 20 divided by 5 into 20. 3 20s are 60 divided by 100. So the equivalent fraction of 3 by 5 is 6 by 10, 9 by 15, 15 by 25, 30 divided by 50, 60 divided by 100. Exercise 2.1 Sum number 1 Solve Subdivision 1 2 minus 3 by 5 I am going to give you a shortcut to solve this type of fraction. The given fraction is one term is in whole, another term is in fraction. Use shortcut method. You just multiply the denominator into whole number. The denominator is 5, 5 into 2, 10. 10 minus 3 is 7, 7 divided by 5. Once again, I repeat this. So the given fraction is in, in the form of whole number and fraction. You just multiply the denominator into whole. 5 into 2, 10 minus 3 divided by 5. 10 minus 3 is 7, 7 divided by 5. Another method, 2 minus 3 by 5. Here the 2 can be written in the form of 2 by 1, minus 3 by 5. Take a LCM, you get 5. Convert the term, 2 into 5, 1 into 5, equal to 2 5s are 10, 10 divided by 5. 10 by 5 minus 3 by 5. 10 minus 3 divided by 5 equal to 10 minus 3 is 7. 7. Sum number 1 subdivision 5. 7 by 10 plus 2 by 5 plus 3 by 2. Solution. Here see the denominator not all in same denominator. So we want to take a LCM. The LCM of 2, 5, 10 is 10. So convert the term into 10. The first fraction already in the denominator is 10. So leave that. Take next fraction. Here denominator have 5. 5 
multiply by 2 you get 10 so 5 multiply by 2 and numerator also multiply by 2 2 into 2 plus the last fraction the third fraction is 3 by 2 convert the denominator into 10 so we want to multiply by 2 into 5 get 10 so you want to multiply by both numerator and denominator by 5 so 2 into 2 divided by 5 into 2 plus 3 into 5 divided by 2 into 5 7 by 10 plus 4 by 10 plus the given fraction is 7 by 10 plus 4 by 10 plus 15 by 10 see the denominator all are in same so we want to add the numerator 7 plus 4 plus 15 7 plus 4 is 11 11 plus 15 is 26 26 divided by 10 simplify the term you get 13 divided by 5 from the given fraction add you get 13 divided by 5 sum number 1 subdivision 7 see the fraction 8 1 by 2 minus 3 5 by 8 solution the given fraction is not in the proper fraction so we want to convert mixed fraction to proper fraction so 8 1 by 2 8 multiplied by 2 16 16 plus 1 17 by 2 likewise 3 5 by 8 3 into 8 24 24 plus 5 29 divided by 8 see the denominator 2 and 8 now we want to take a LCM because the denominator is not equal so take a LCM LCM is 8 so 17 divided by 2 multiply by 4 17 4s are 68 divided by 8 minus 29 divided by 8 68 minus 29 divided by 8 68 minus 29 is 39 divided by 8 the answer is 39 divided by 8 arrange the following in descending order see the given fraction is 2 by 9 2 by 3 8 by 21 solution so now we want to write the fraction in descending order first of all take LCM because the denominator is not same so take a LCM you get 63 3 into 3 into 7 you get 63 the given fraction LCM is so take a LCM you get 63 convert into the denominator into 63 first of all take a uh, fraction 2 by 9 2 by 9 9 multiplied by 7 number you get 63 so 9 into 7 63 so both numerator and denominator multiply by 7 2 into 7 14 9 7 are 63 likewise fraction number 2 2 by 3 multiply by 21 you get a 20 uh, 63 so 3 into 21 63 2 into 21 42 likewise the last fraction is 8 by 21 which number multiply by 21 you get 63 the number is 3 so 21 into 3 you get 63 8 into 3 you get 24 so compare the ratio the first ratio, the greatest fraction is 42 divided by 63 the second fraction is 24 divided by 63 and last fraction is 14 divided by 63 written in the descending order so therefore the given fraction 2 by 3 greater than 8 by 21 greater than 2 by 9 example 3 Samira purchased 3 and half kg apples and 4 3 by 4 kg oranges what is the total weight of fruits purchased by her solution the total weight of fruits 3 1 by 2 plus 4 3 by 4 3 1 by 2 is apple plus 4 3 by 4 is orange so add the terms first of all convert the mixed fraction to normal fraction so 3 into 2 6 6 plus 1 7 4 4 are 16 16 plus 3 19 divided by 4 add the taking a lcm you get 14 divided by 4 plus 19 divided by 4 add the term you get 33 divided by 4 kg equal to we want to convert into mixed fraction you get 8 and 8 1 by 4 kg the total weight of fruits is 8 1 by 4 kg sum number 5 find the perimeter of 
first subdivision one triangle ABE e. second one the rectangle BCDE in this figure whose perimeter is greater so find the perimeter of triangle ABE and find the perimeter of a rectangle BCDE and whose perimeter is greater than subdivision one see the given figure I have a triangle ABE and BCDE. First of all, find the perimeter of ABE. See the diagram. AB equal to 5 by 2 cm, BE equal to 2, 3 by 4 cm and AE equal to 3, 3 by 5 cm. You know very well, perimeter of a triangle equal to add the all sides. That means add the three sides. The perimeter of a triangle ABE equal to AB plus BE plus AE. So AB means side, BE also side and the last side is AE. So write the values. AB is 5 by 2 centimeter. So write 5 by 2. BE equal to 2, 3 by 4 plus AE equal to 3, 3 by 5. Convert the mixed fraction to normal fraction. 5 by 2 plus 4 2s are 4 2s are 8 8 plus 3 11 by 4 plus 5 3s are 15 15 plus 3 18 divided by 5 see the denominator not equal so we want to take a lcm take a lcm you take a lcm you get 20 so convert the terms into the denominator is all 20 so take a first fraction 5 by 2 which number multiply by 2 you get 20 that number is 10 2 into 10 is 20 so the both numerator and denominator multiply by 10 plus 11 by 4 which number multiply by 4 you get 20 that number is 5 4 5s are 20 so 11 into 5 plus 18 divided by 5 which number multiply by 5 you get 20 that number is 4 5 into 4 18 into 4 5 into 10 50 2 into 10 20 plus 11 into 5 55 divided by 4 5 is 20 18 into 4 72 5 4 is 20 add the numbers 50 plus 55 plus 72 equal to 117 divided by 20 the perimeter of ABE equal to 8 17 divided by 20 centimeter you write in the fraction normal fraction or mixed fraction or same subdivision 2 in a rectangle BCDE BE equal to 2 3 by 4 centimeter and ED equal to 7 by 6 centimeter BE equal to 2 by 3 centimeter means CD also 2 3 by 4 centimeter because the rectangle have opposite sides are equal the ED is 7 by 6 centimeter means the opposite side BC also 7 by 6 centimeter rectangle opposite sides are equal perimeter of a rectangle you know very well the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into L plus B L denotes length and B denotes breadth apply the value 2 into 2 3 by 4 plus 7 by 6 convert the term into normal fraction 4 into 2 8 8 plus 3 11 11 divided by 4 plus 7 by 6 simplify the term take a LCM you get 12 33 plus 14 equal to 47 divided by 6 this term convert into mixed fraction that is 7 5 by 6 centimeter therefore the perimeter of a rectangle BCDE is 7 5 by 6 centimeter Comparing the perimeter of triangle and that of rectangle. In the mixed fraction, we compare easily 8 and 7. Which number is biggest? 8 is a biggest number. So, 8 17 by 20 centimeter is greater than 7 5 by 6 centimeter. So, the perimeter of a triangle is greater than perimeter of a sum number 7. Ritu ate 3 by 5 part of an apple and the remaining apple was eaten by her brother Somu. How much part of apple did Somu eat? Who had large share by how much? 
solution. The part of an apple eaten by Ritu is 3 by 5. The part of an apple eaten by Soma is 1 minus 3 by 5. That 5 minus 3 divided by 5, you get 2 by 5. So Ritu eat 3 by 5 part and Soma eat 2 by 5 part. Comparing the parts of an apple eaten by both Ritu and Somo, 3 by 5 is greater than 2 by 5. Large share will be more by 3 by 5 minus 2 by 5 equal to 1 by 5 part. Thus, Ritu part is 1 by 5 more than the Somo's part. Okay students, let's do the homework based on this topic. Exercise 2.1 Sum number 1, 5 and 7 already solved. Remaining sum is homework. That is sum number 1 subdivision 2, 3, 4 and 6. Sum number 2 subdivision 2. Sum number 1 is already solved. Arrange the following in descending order. Sum number 2. Third sum is here. Homework. Magic square. The sum of the number each row, each column along the diagonal is the same is the magic square. Check the given numbers are in magic square or not. Sum number 4. A rectangular sheet of a paper is 12 1 by 2 cm long and 10 2 by 3 cm wide. Find its perimeter. So apply the formula for a rectangle. Rectangle Perimeter formula is 2 into L plus B. Here L is 12 1 by 2 centimeter and breadth is 10 2 by 3 centimeter. You get answer. Sum number 6 is your homework. Sum number 5 already solved. Sum number 8. Once again I repeat this. Sum number Homework exercise 2.1 sum number 1 subdivision 2 3 4 and 6 sum number 2 subdivision 2 sum number 3 4 6 8 is your homework. Okay students thank you all.